Welcome to Quick Tips for Thinkorswim. I'm Connie Hill, Senior Manager of Trading and Derivatives here at Charles Schwab. Today's quick tip is the formatting and general layout of the charts. What we discuss is for information and educational purposes only. Don't consider it a recommendation of any sort. When you initially come into the charts, this is what it looks like. Let's give you a little bit of orientation to what we're seeing here. Now in the main body, we're basically seeing the price action. These are called candles and each day has a candle or each time frame you've designated. It'll show us the open, the high, the low, the close. Right now we're on a one year daily chart, so each candle represents a day in the price action. Over here on the far right is the price of the stock. Down here in this lower grid is where we see volume. And then you can see below those volume bars, the different months of the year as we look at that one year chart. The green dot represents when a dividend is paid, the blue is when earnings announcement is, and the red is when the earnings announcement call is. Typically those will correspond to each other. The gear right here is what we're gonna go into to change our settings on the chart. Now as we come in here, we're gonna choose the middle tab appearance. And all the changes that we make here can show over here in the preview window on the right. Now initially it's showing us we're starting out with a candle. We're gonna keep that candle chart, but there are other types of charts if you would like. We're gonna choose the width of the candle. The default is a one, so it's fairly small, but you can see as I increment that number in the preview window, those candles are getting larger. Now let's talk about colors. On a day when a stock is bullish, meaning it closes higher than where it opened, it's green and it has kind of a hollow background here which shows you what the background color is. So right now that's in green. And on a day when the stock is down and closes lower than where it opens, it's color coded in red and it's filled in. Now these little pokey things, okay? These are what we call wicks or shadows on the candle. You can turn them off if you want, okay? Uh, I prefer to have them on, <laughs> but you can make this look however you want. Next up, let's talk about the crosshair. The crosshair is that <clears throat> little vertical and horizontal line that follow your mouse. Now, some people like it. I think it's very helpful, but if you wanted to turn it off, you could. Now the volume bars, they are preset to this blue color, but they don't have to be. They can be any color you want, or you can have them match your symbol ticks above, meaning when it's a green candle day, the volume bar is green. When it's a red candle day, the volume bar is red. Now the background color, it can be changed here as well. You can select on more. There's a big color palette. You could choose a number of colors that you might be interested in. Maybe you want a, a different color, maybe dark blue or something. You could choose whatever it is that you would like. The last thing is this area called grid. And on the background in the price action, you're gonna see little grid lines. They're gonna be running horizontally and vertically. And that just helps you line things up. Some people like them, some people don't. Whatever your preference is just fine. Now, when you've got your changes the way that you would like them, go ahead and hit apply and okay, and it'll reflect the changes you've just made. Now you're ready to go personalize what your chart looks like. Have some fun.